Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you become part of our makeup family. So be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Well guys, if you can believe it, we are at the end of March. This is the last day of March when I think you guys are watching this video and it is time for monthly favorites. So I'm going to show you five winners from the month of March and and I'm also going to include a couple losers for the month of March here in my beauty stash. Now, the products I'm going to show you, I may or may not have purchased and or received during the month of March. They are just products that I have been loving and reaching for and some eh, that didn't really work out so great. And I'm just going to share them with you. You all are going to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what some of your favorites are. What are some of your not so favorite things right now? and we are just gonna go through all of it today and of course I will have all of these products linked and listed in the description box of today's video some of those things might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel let's get the eye look out of the way because unfortunately I didn't film it but I used the blend bunny dollhouse palette and I am using this Natasha Denona rose cheek duo this is a cream blush and highlight and my lipstick. My lipstick is the Fenty, right here, the Fenty lipstick. And I will tell you the shade right now. It is in the shade Ballin Babe. Love this, beautiful. Love these Fenty lipsticks and snap them in, pop them out. Absolutely fantastic lippies. If you guys wanna see my winners and losers for the month of March, keep on watching. All right, guys, so I have two different sunscreens that are making my favorites list during the month of March, and I did get both of these in the month of March. So I've pretty much been trying them all month long. The first one is from Tatcha. This is the new one. I wore this to the beach uh, on my birthday, which was March 6th, and I've been wearing it and loving it ever since. This is the new Silk Sunscreen. It is a mineral sunscreen and it does provide SPF 50. It is infused with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. This is a very, a very liquidy type of SPF. You want to make sure you shake it really well. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand here, but see, it's definitely very, very runny but it blends out so beautifully on the complexion. I am a normal to oily skin type and this just looks fantastic with or without makeup, your choice. But this one, I know it's pricey. Tatcha does amazing skincare products, obviously. And for me, they have two. Two of my favorite sunscreens, the first one being this one right here. This one is ideal for those of, for those of you with full-on oily skin. If you have full-on oily skin, large pores, this one is going to be your best friend. I forget, I know I'm putting the picture of it here, but I don't have the picture of it in front of me. This is the, the Silken sunscreen, I believe. I've used this one for years, for years, love it. Yes, they are pricey, this is like 60 bucks, but I mean, when you find something that's good and something that works, you know, you don't necessarily mind paying that higher price tag. Unfortunately, this one, it is the same price, but it's out of stock right now on the Sephora website. I'm really hoping that they restock it in time for the VIB sale, at least for the first or sometime during the sale so that we can take advantage of it. And if you haven't tried it, you can get it at a 20% discount or 15 or 10, whatever your membership tier is at Sephora. But if not, if not, it might be in stock on QVC or it might be in stock um, on the Tatcha website to where if maybe you sign up for the emails, you can get like 10% off or something. But I highly recommend checking it out. No matter what your skin type, I actually know. I would say if you're full on oily, mm, go for the other one. But any other skin type than full on oily, I think you will love it. I'm a normal to oily. I love it. I don't have any issues with this causing excess oil or anything like that. It's just... It's a beautiful, beautiful product. And I know a lot of you out there, you want mineral sunscreens, and this one is it. If you're a fan of the brand, you probably have this already. And if you've had your eye on it, take it from me, 
this is a good one. Now let's talk about another sunscreen that I discovered this month and I've been wearing it all month long and I'm wearing it today as well. This one is from Josie Marin. This is her brand new Get Even Sun Milk. This is also a mineral sunscreen. I think this is her first mineral sunscreen and this one has SPF 33. It's infused, of course, with argan oil, as are all the Josie Marin products. Their base, their core is argan oil. That is how the brand started. You guys have heard me talk so much about Josie Marin. I have used her body butter, her skincare products for years years. My mom uses them. My other family members use that, use her products. My friends use her products. We use them because they work, because we've had such an amazing experience. I am never, never without my Josie Marin body butter, and I always have one of her sunscreens in my stash. This is a new one, so I picked this up from QVC. It was a three-piece set, and now you can find this already like at Sephora, I think it should be at Ulta already because um, Josie Marin is sold at Ulta Beauty, but I know for sure it's in stock on the Sephora website. So if you're maybe looking to try this, you can definitely take advantage of the VIB sale that's coming up and purchase it there. This has been a beautiful product. Again, like the Tatcha, both with or without makeup, this does not interfere with your foundation, your concealer, your powder, anything like that. It wears beautifully. It lays beautifully on the skin. Skin, and it just provides the complexion with a healthy glow and who doesn't want that? Another one of my favorites for the month of March is this new one from Too Faced. Well, this is the newly reformulated 24-hour shadow insurance. Now, I know the original version of this one. I never tried it, but I know it didn't get that great of reviews. I think a lot of people said that it creased or it didn't improve the longevity of the eyeshadow for whatever reason. I am here to tell you that this one doesn't crease. Not even when I'm like, I apply it to my eyelids and then I'm working on this eye and then I have to jump over to the left eye. Like there is no creasing, no creasing. And usually that happens. That happens with eyeshadow primers. You gotta just kind of pat them out before you go in with your shadow. I haven't experienced that with this one. And I love that first you get a good amount of product in here. How many ounces does it say? You get, um, it says you get 0.20 fluid ounces of product. I think that's a good amount. And then I love that it comes with a doe foot applicator. I wish all eyeshadow primers came with a doe foot applicator. It just makes application so easy, so quick. This one from Too Faced, I'm really glad I picked it up. I ordered this when I ordered their new um, Sunset or a Born This Way Sunset Stripped eyeshadow palette, which, you know, turned out to be a pretty good palette. I ended up liking that one more than um, the, what was it? The, the Bare Neutral or the Bare Nudes. I, I forget which one it is, but it's their newest, their latest neutral palette that came out. That's actually a pretty good one if you're looking to pick up a new neutral palette. Add this to your cart. You won't be disappointed. You guys have been seeing me use this in more recent eyeshadow uh, videos and stuff, and I've really been enjoying it, and I think it's definitely worth checking out. Next up, we have makeup brushes, and these are from Game Beauty. Now, I know you guys, if y'all have been watching my eyeshadow videos, you guys see me and hear me reaching for my Game Beauty brushes, in particular, the E01. This E01 brush is perfect for the crease, for building up crease colors. So basically just stamping, doing this little motion, working with a lighter shade to get it to build up to its maximum payoff, this E01 brush is perfect for that. And then we get this little flat like shader brush. I just used this a while ago right here on my lower lash line to do the darker shade. And then we get this larger shader brush right here, which obviously you can tell I've used it. I just used this one too. This little one right here, this one is great like for eyeliner or for doing like an inner corner highlight, which is exactly what I use it for. The only brush in this set that I'm still trying to get used to is this little angled blender slash shader brush. I know a lot of different brands, they do a brush like this. This is the E03, but 
I've never been one to use a brush this style. If you use a brush like this, let me know. How do you use this? Do you use this just right here, like to do the V? Or do you blend with it in the crease? Or do you pack stuff on the lid with it? I'm kind of at a loss with exactly how to use it. I'm just like, if I'm gonna be doing blending out here on the um, outer corner, I always reach for like my Refer 13, or I reach for the slightly larger version, which is this one, the Refer 14. For me, like that's just the easiest thing. I don't know, I get a little lost with this angle brush, but let me know if you use it and how you use it. And if you are wanting to add some game beauty to your stash, pick up an eyeshadow palette and pick up this eye brush set. And last but not least, for my winners for the month of March, is the Night Flower Palette from Lethal Cosmetics. Guys, this collect, the entire collection, but specifically the eyeshadow palette, I think this is the best formula, the best eyeshadow palette that Lethal Cosmetics has released. There is something so special about this formula. I know they had to have changed it. This does not perform like the other Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes that I have in my stash. This does contain what I know is a new formula for like their duo and multi-chromes, and this is beautiful. I love the color story. I've said this before. I love purple and blue together. I think that is just such, such a beautiful look. And I love that they gave us this gray. I think this gray is definitely a welcomed addition to this otherwise like purple and blue eyeshadow palette. This gives the palette a little bit of neutralness, but also a little bit more of versatility. And I think they were just spot on with the color selection and with the amount of mattes and multi and duochromes and shimmers that they included in this palette. I bought this from the Camera Ready Cosmetics website that is based here in the US. Lilo Cosmetics is a German-based indie makeup brand, but if you do their express shipping, I mean, I've gotten stuff from them in about a week. So that's not even bad. I know like Beauty Bay, I think we've all been complaining about Beauty Bay shipping lately. They ship from the UK, but I don't know why I was thinking they shipped from here in the US, like they had a warehouse. I know a lot of you have been complaining about the shipping with Beauty Bay recently. Um, I get it. I waited like two and a half weeks for my berries palette, my midnight palette, and all of those to, to arrive. And I know some of you are just getting them and you ordered the palettes on launch day. Hang in there. I know they were changing warehouses, but you know, still like already three weeks, like, that's that's enough time to get a palette overseas and into the customer's hands. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Hopefully they've ironed out all their kinks. But I know if you order directly from the Lethal Cosmetics website, you should get it in a decent amount of time. And of course, if you order from the Camera Ready Cosmetics website and you're here in the U.S., they are shipping directly from the US. Guys, I tried the I tried two of the three highlighters that came with this collection and I picked up one of the three or four uh, gel liners. I love the gel liners, they're fantastic. The highlighters are beautiful. That was my first time trying Lethal Cosmetics highlighters. Fantastic, the whole collection is beautiful, but I definitely recommend picking up the eyeshadow palette. And last but not least, my two losers, unfortunately for the month of March, are from Rare Beauty. The Rare Beauty concealer and the foundation, I wore both of these products all weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two weeks ago when I was filming with my new Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes. These were part of the base makeup and I was so ready to remove my foundation, just all of my makeup when I was done filming, you know, each of those videos. I never really caught on to this foundation. I've tried to use a little, I've tried to use a lot, I've tried to use somewhere in between. I've tried to apply it with a brush and with a makeup sponge. Um, it just, I don't like the way it lays on my skin. I don't like the way it wears on my skin. I know this is hit or miss with a lot of people. For me, it's a miss. 
And then the concealer, if I was going to pick the best one out of these two, I would give it to the concealer. But I feel like this doesn't really do anything for like the fine lines that are in my eyes. Like I feel like kind of accentuates them and it kind of accentuates the the little bit of texture that I do have on my complexion. I think the coverage is nice, but I'm not blown away with these complexion products from Rare Beauty. However, when I was working on those Beauty Bay videos and I was, of course, you know, reapplying these products um, as I would, you know, change up the eye looks and stuff like that, in my head I was thinking, when is Rare Beauty gonna come out with a skin tint? And I swear guys, two days later, they announced that they were coming out with a skin tint. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I just thought about that. Like I was really hoping that Rare Beauty would give us a skin tint and they're gonna be doing that in the month of April. So definitely stay tuned for that. You know I'm gonna review it for you guys and I am so excited for that release from Rare Beauty. And guys, with that, we wrap up winners and losers for the month of March. Definitely let me know what some of the products you have been loving on all month long and what are some misses? What misses did you have this year that you want us to just stay clear of? Leave it all in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink that water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!